Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliances. Oh, that's right. You know, I got to admit, I have the best job ever. The best job ever. Why? Because I'm surrounded by the most incredible people that exist. We just had Don Most from Happy Days. And later on, we're going to have James Pham from Enlight Tea Founder, CEO, starting a tea revolution. And also, too, of course, Dan Hill, founder of Hill Impact Reputation Management. Mm, wait till you find out what he's got to share. Hillimpact.com. But let's go ahead and let's get started with our next hero. All right. You ready for this? Yeah, you know the magazine's Vogue? How about Forbes? People. Glamour. Hmm, she's been in them all. She's a model, an entrepreneur, and a TV personality named as one of hottest models in the world right now by Daily Star, Rachel McCord. And you can reach her at the McCordList.com because, well, she's been in all the magazines. So let me ask you, Rachel, though, being, in, being involved in so many various projects, which one has been your favorite? Oh my gosh. I think my favorite has been finding my space as a female entrepreneur. I love the entertainment business. I've been in it for so long now, but being able to help so many fabulous brands and entrepreneurs find their voice and support them and speak has just been a blast. And let's talk about that because you help brands. In fact, it's the McCord list. Let's talk about how do you go about helping these brands that, you know, really are trying to find maybe their niche in the market to grow their business? Yeah. Well, and by the way, I do argue, I think I have the best job in the world because not only do I get to work with you, but I also get to do all these fun things. So I'll fight you on that one. <laughs> we'll, arm wrestle, we'll arm wrestle afterwards. Oh my God. You'll totally win. Dang. I don't want to do it then. Yeah. <laughs> I only like to play games. I win. <laughs> um, okay. So I think for, for me working with brands, like I look at it in this space of, you know, we're all passionate passionate people like my book is called slay the fame game and I think the most important thing is that we don't feel guilty for wanting to build a brand and build it to be the best and the and the um, have the greatest impact that we can possibly do so I love sitting down with brand sponsors who love my work and entertainment and want to be a part of it and being able to introduce them to so many fabulous girls in my network in my community who are other talent celebrities influencers who are also passionate about meeting them so being able to find their voice and help them say that at scale. So we've got a lot of business owners, CEOs, various size companies and stuff. At what point should they contact you and how would they know if there's a match? Well, if you are a brand that focuses on like fashion, lifestyle, beauty, or wellness, it's the right brand for the McCord list, um, pending like obviously approval process because we only highlight certain brands on the list. But you know, I think that even if it's just like for me to give you some tips, like I'm always down like on my Instagram at I am Rachel McCord, I answer DMs, I consult different brands, I go on the board of some to help them when I believe in what they're doing. I only work with brands I actually think I can do something with, um, but I look at it as there, it's never too early to think about what you want to say to the world. A lot of times people think about branding and promoting to celebrities and influencers as something that happens when you have a finished product, but you can do so much more in the beginning when you're iterating the product and get them a part of it and have them help bake that cake with you because it's actually a lot of fun and then they're more sold on you and as a visionary and what you're putting out in the world. I'm going to trance right now. You're so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I wow. I, I can't even hair flip because I got these what? headphones on. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> you're too mm. nice. I just wish that all of our people who are in the audience can come, or can come and here and see you here live today. Oh, well, I wish they just had perfect lighting everywhere because I, I think it's the lighting that's putting you in a oh, trance, but I'll God, take it I'll and a bag it. of chips. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Tell me what it means to you from trailer parks to red carpet. Um, wow, you're going to get me to go deep. Um, okay, so I'm going to be really honest and raw. We've uh, This is obviously my second time on your fabulous show, and I'm obsessed with it. So I, I love going deep and, and being honest. Um, I think for me, with how I grew up, um, going through a lot of stuff, growing up in trailer parks, I felt like I wasn't worthy of the life that I was building in Hollywood. And I felt like I didn't add up and I didn't measure up. And it's something that I still feel. I think sometimes... Um, 
I, I know that my passion has brought me to where I am, but also th- like a little bit of this fear, like, whoa, I don't want to end up where I was before. I don't want to go through trauma again and all these different things. And I think in life, you have to choose the difference. Even if you get to where you want to be, I'm really grateful. You still have to choose, like, am I running from something or am I running to something? So I think that every day I try to check myself and ask myself for real, like, am I doing all of this stuff that I do to prove something to myself, to say, you are worthy, you do matter. And that's not the message because you matter in a trailer park. You matter wherever you are, whatever you come from, whatever your story is, you matter right here and right now. And there's no need to run from where that is. You just have to walk it out in truth. Mm, Absolutely amazing. And to uh, slay the fame game, now, you're an author. Where can we go ahead and pick that up? It's on Amazon. I have it on different retailers in L.A., of course. But, I mean, let's be honest. It's 2018. <laughs> Buy it on Amazon. <laughs> Shh. All right. Sorry, is that bad? I don't know. <laughs> now, you're also an uh, investor and a judge on el- an elevator pitch. And you're the star producer of Slay the Rachel McCord on Focus TV. How do you know, though, when, you know, the, the pressure's on the people that uh, you are evaluating? I mean, what you do and say could make it or break it for their entire what they're launching. How do you know that somebody's got what they've got to be able to say, yeah, we want to move forward? Great question. So for me personally, as an entrepreneur, I look at things from a gut check. Like, and, and keep in mind also, if you're an entrepreneur and you've pitched your product to an investor or you pitched it to us on the show or anywhere else, just because some people say no doesn't mean that your idea is botched. You could be in a different room and get a completely different response. So I think you have to, you know, kind of like check the the environment that you're pitching that product and make sure you're in the right space. But for me personally, like I just listen to the entrepreneur. I listen to their passion. I listen to their ask. You know, a lot of times people have an amazing product. They just don't know how to communicate it. And that's kind of my sweet spot. I'm not great at going in a lab and coming up with something amazing. That's what entrepreneurs out out there that I work with are doing. I just help them get that message in such a way that people like me say yes to it. I, I love it. Love it. And you're listening to me, Alliances, on the Alliances Hero Show. Go to alliances.com. That's E L I A N C E S.com. The only place where entrepreneurs align because we've got Rachel McCord from the McCord List. You could reach her again, the McCordList.com. Now, Glue, our famous celebrity producer, keeps throwing around her shoe in the air. So I think the shoe, if the shoe fits, has something to do with you, Rachel. Why is she throwing her shoe around? Probably because I'm always wearing stilettos, but I'm not 1,000% sure. I do know that I, um, I I have to change my shoes about three times a day because I wear really painful shoes. <laughs> but I really don't know. Let me see your shoes now. I mean, they're kind oh, of yeah. basic, right, but I'm right. going to the airport, so don't judge too hard. All right. <laughs> How many pairs of shoes, shoes do you have? Um, like 175 or so. Uh, that's all? <laughs> You're so funny. All right, now Rachel, like too, is, is you created some magic yesterday because you were at the Alliance's Grand Table and you were presenting, and there was also a line way deep and long of everybody who wanted to talk to you. What was that experience like to have been involved and to just be part of that energy? I loved your event. I mean, you slayed it all day. I was blown away. I loved the guests. I loved the other presenters. It was my first time participating, so I really was coming in like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm really down and I'm really excited. I just had the best time. I learned a bunch. I loved meeting all of your community. I think what you've built here is remarkable. I'm like, wait, can I join if I'm in L.A.? (laughs) Oh, yeah, we'll make room for you. Okay, yay. (laughs) Well, Rachel, I got to tell you, you're a leader your impart knowledge to help others give opportunities and do it with an incredible heart. That's what makes a hero, helping others, and you do, and you inspire so many women. Go to the McCordList.com. Rachel McCord, this is David Kogan with Alliances.